What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay with Brother Cousin's Toy Reviews. And that's right, I'm back with another one. Today, I'll be reviewing MMS 677 Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars Attack of the Clones by Hot Toys. Let's check it out. Okay, so here he is out of the box. We got Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones. Finally, he is here. <sighs> I've been waiting for this figure for a very long time. So I'm really excited to really see what it looks like. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, right here, first up you get all the hands and the USB light up lightsabers, which I'm really excited for these, to be quite honest with you. Um, because these are, you know, light side uh, LED light up lightsabers. All the ones I have right now are from the Kenobi line that I've gotten in the past, and they're all synth lightsabers. So these are my actual first uh, Jedi USB LED lightsabers. And they look cool. So far, they look cool. Um, I think this is the first time we got this version of Anakin's lightsaber, and this is the green one. As you can see, hope the camera's focusing in on it. And we'll take a better look at it than this, but there that is. All wired up and ready to go. Looks cool. Looks great. Looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, put that back in there so I don't lose it. You also get the one that's, cl uh, which is closer to the one he ends up having. See if the camera's catching it. Yeah, it is. There it is, you get that one right there and that's wired up, ready to go as well. It looks good, definitely looks good. Um, we get some hands right here. We got force hands, we got fist hands. We're not gonna go through and look at all these hands. Y'all have seen hands before, you know, fisted hands. You're, you're generous with the hands on this one. You know, Hot Toys as of lately has kind of been kind of like uh, you know, chintzy with some of the hands. But uh, you also, it's hard to see right there, but you get the little uh, plugs for the lightsabers, for each lightsaber, the little cover tech plugs that lock right on on the belt. All my cosplayers out there, y'all know all about that. So yeah, those look good. But yeah, let's look at the rest of the figure. Let's get the box open. And when this figure first came out, a lot of people was, you know, kind of talking shit saying the head sculpt didn't look as good. Even I was kind of like, eh, it looks a little soft, but uh, we saw some pictures out there for some bloggers and uh, we started getting some reviews and uh, people started singing another tune. So yeah, turns out the figure looks good, but we are gonna take a look at it with our own eyes. First up, let's take that off, take the little paper off. And of course you get the our eyeball rolling tool right there, which that's awesome, that's okay. Of course, we get the uh, little latch on here that latches on the base for the power, uh, for the USB power that will power the lightsabers with, those little clips and all those pieces there. Here's the little USB bank that we've all become familiar with. So we got that right there. You also got these little plugs right here that plug into the base that I really wish these damn things were magnetic. I mean, I don't get why they are not, but we got them. There they are. Might as well take this stuff out. Uh, I just hate getting it out and losing it, but uh, I don't think I'll do that. I'm a professional, right? Okay, so you got two states of lightsaber. You got the straight lightsaber beam right here, which I'm glad that it looks blue. You know, it, a lot of times this was kind of like, uh, over the past years, these have gotten lighter, but this one is actually very, very blue. That's good, I'm good, I'm glad to see that one. And here's the green one for the green lightsaber. That is also 
very, very green, which I'm very excited about. Then you get the swooshing effects for those, which we'll be using. They're cool. We'll use them. Why not? Also, you get his robotic hand. Look at that. Uh, once it focuses in, there it is. You get the robotic hand right there. And it looks cool. It's not, oh, so you get a little bit of movement. Well, not no movement. It just twists right there, as you can see. But these don't move at all. None of the fingers are articulated or anything like that. But it's cool. We won't really be using it like that. But, uh, you know, I'll have it there for pictures. Okay, so then you have the other lightsabers that just go on his belt. These are not wired. They're pretty much just to go on the belt and just to, you know, be there looking cool. You don't want to have wires hanging all off of them, which I know some of you don't, but I know how to hide them bitches. So there you go. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure. And y'all actually gonna look at it before I do. Boom, there he is. And I think he looks dope. I think he looks dope. I think that head sculpt is on the money, in my opinion. I think it looks great. You see the tunic there? Looks good. Costume looks great. Still got the damn plastic on the boots, but we'll take care of that later. But uh, yeah, man, I think he looks good. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Can't wait to get him all posed up with Padme and everything. But yeah, so far I think he looks good. I think he looks good. And of course, down here we got the base, which you've seen this base before. Crotch grabber, all stuff that we have seen before. And we got one more other thing to pull out. Yes, we do. If I can get it out, it's kind of already hanging. You got, wow, this is, Seems to be very, uh, very thick. <laughs> oh my God. But you get his uh, cloak right there. And yeah, it seems to be a lot of material. Very, a lot of third material, very weighty. And uh, seems to have, yeah, it has some wiring in it. So you can do some, uh, so you can do some futzing. So yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at all that, plus more. But all right, let's move on with the rest of the review. And here he is in all his glory, Anakin Skywalker from Attack of the Clones by Hot Toys. And I'm gonna say, first off, all the skepticism that we had in the beginning, it doesn't mean anything because this figure looks great. This is the proof why you should wait until you get the figure in hand before you start over criticizing it because this figure looks great. I mean, great in hand. The tailoring, the costume, the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks fantastic. And we're gonna go in close and really take a look at all of that. The only thing that I see right now, the only problem that I see with this figure is the damn pleather tunic. Yes, those pleather, those pleather uh, tunic straps that go down there. Oh my God. I'm looking at him and I'm just like, oh my God, please don't flake, please don't flake. But anyway, let's look at, start with the feet right there, the boots. Um, if you have an Anakin figure, you're kind of familiar with these boots already. They look spectacular. And they have, and they're pleather as well, but they have a pleather plastic type of thing going on, which I don't know, we all know pleather is plastic, but that's a whole nother thing. But it's very well constructed is what I'm trying to say. They look damn good. Looks amazing. Looks good. Um, the boots are great. 
they really are. Then you have the trousers there with uh, to go along inside the boots. Trousers are standard Star Wars trousers, which the tailoring is spot on and it looks good. Moving up to the brown tunic of their knee, that tunic is great. I love how it looks. I love the fact that you have wiring in the cuffs. So you can definitely um, futz those and uh, make those hang as natural as you can. Uh, the material itself feels just really good in hand. Real good material here, absolutely. Going on to the belt, the Jedi belt with all the little uh, doohickeys on his belt is highly detailed and finely sculpted. Looks very damn good, done very excellent very excellent now as i said before the leather tunic right there or pleather tunic which should be leather looks good it does my copy it does it's kind of bulged in a little bit in the belt i mean but that looks natural i mean i'm sure that's how the costume was on the set um it looks good it really looks good and it does serve it. it it serves very well but it is pleather it would have been nice would have been a nice touch to make this actual leather that's the thing i can't wait for the artisan anakin when that drops and when you know are we gonna get pleather in that i mean it wasn't in the it wasn't in the product description but it would be nice because that is supposed to be a more premium product um but you know i think most of that goes into the head sculpt with the hair but anyway the tunic on this looks great i just wish it was leather moving on up to ha the creme de la creme what we all are here for the head sculpt the head sculpt looks fan fantastic for all of you that were worried about it the paint being too soft it really doesn't look like anakin who is this all that stuff do not worry it looks good it looks damn good paint apps are striking they look amazing this is a young hayden christensen in 20 what is this 20 you know in 2000 2001 definitely when they actually think about when they filmed it not when it released but in 2001 yes this is a young super duper young Hayden Christensen, I believe he was probably like 20 at the time, because I think I was like 20 at that time. So yeah, man, definitely looks like him. They did an excellent job. When you uh, do the whole eyeball rolling gimmick, brings life to it. As you can see right here in this picture, that looks just like the man. They really nailed it. Got the little baby hairs up there on them as well. Looking cool. <laughs> little spiky hair and all that. Definitely, you know, uh, kind of Star Wars boy band feel <laughs> of that time, of that era. Um, he looks good. They did a great job on him, guys. I really think they nailed this. Um, so you guys ain't got nothing to worry. If you were worried about it, it looks good. Okay, so um, just when I thought I would just jump into the posing session, uh, I realized I gotta hide these wires. So I pulled off all the tunics and snaked the wires underneath the armbands and the tunics so those wires can be invisible. Well, somewhat invisible because I didn't want the wires to be all over the damn place. Um, I've seen a lot of collectors do that and that's just not the way to do this. You just have to, if you just take a little extra time, you can make this look really, really good. So um, yeah, I stripped down, um, stripped down the figure and uh, put the wires underneath there and uh, now I'm about to go ahead and put everything back on. Okay, and here he is with everything back on, and he looks great. And like I said, all you gotta do is just take your time. It was easy to do. I took him, took the, uh, took the tunic off and put it back on without even looking at any photos. It's just really simple how they do it. So just take a little bit of time and you'll get this thing looking very neat.
Okay guys, so that's been my review of MMS 677 Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. And on a scale of one to 10, I give it a solid nine. Exactly. I know you guys think, Jay, you always giving things eight, nines, and tens. You don't give anything lower than an eight, which you would be right because I'm not into buying figures that I don't like. So therefore, this figure is a nine. But let me tell you why it's a nine. Because the light up effects, even though they're not CCFL bright, they're bright. They are, the Hot Toys is making headway and they're giving us stuff that they should have gave us years ago, but I'm glad they gave it with this. So having him lit up with two lightsabers really gives this figure a lot of presence. The head sculpt is amazing. For all of you that were worried about it, I'm here to tell you, there's nothing to worry about it at all. It looks damn good. The costuming is great. The only thing, it is a little poofy in certain sections, especially when you put that cloak on. He has a little poof to him. You have to do some futzing for him to look right, which is the case with a lot of figures. But he looks good outside of all that. And yes, the pleathering, the pleathering, the pleathering, the pleather material, I really wish it was leather. If this thing was leather, this would have been a solid 10. But for what you get, it is good comes off real great and it is an essential part of your attack of the clones collection so you definitely need him in your collection he is good he is probably one of the best anakins that are out there on the market and we got a lot of them and we got more to come and we know we got that artisan right around the corner so in my opinion i think that's going to be the premiere anakin but we'll see we'll see what happens but right now this is pretty good they did a great job on it more than pretty good it's actually very good very good figure i can't recommend it enough but you know what guys that's my opinion but let me know what you think share a comment like subscribe bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff i will see you on the next one peace and we are out